Welcome to Tips for Clips. Today I'm going to show you how to give yourself a medium length haircut and a beard trim. Going from this to this. And the first thing I want to point out is the lever settings on the side. This is short, long. Short, long. Also known as closed, open. So I'm going to leave it in the open position and I put the number 8 clip on. So this is actually the most important part of the haircut. First you see that I split my hair down the middle. I didn't split it how I'm going to part it at the end just yet. And this helps the hair on top actually get cut really nicely. So I split it right down the middle. And I'm just going to go up along the sides. And really just hack away. It's so long at this point. I want to take away a lot of that bulk. And notice the motion as I go up. You're going to notice it all throughout. I'm not staying alongside my scalp as I go higher. And here I put in a video in video on the top right so you can see what I'm doing in the back as well. And I'm just hacking away. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on the other side. Just trying to get rid of that bulk. And there's nothing to this except that as I go higher, I'm going away from my head. I'm not staying close to the scalp as I go up. So you see the motion, and you're going to see it all throughout. You're going to see it enough. I sped it up a little bit here. I sort of turn away my bangs because uh, I want them to stay just a little longer. It's going to look a little better at the end when I do that. And here you can see that I'm doing the same thing in the back. You don't even really need to look at the back yet. You're just hacking away right now, getting rid of the bulk, until we actually begin to blend and to fade. I realized while I was giving the haircut that there wasn't enough light, so I turned on the light from the self haircut system. It's a three-way mirror. I've linked it in the bottom of the description here. And this is a really important part. So I'm blending the longest hair on top still using the number 8 long and this is really where I need the, the mirror and I'm gonna need it throughout the haircut from now on especially but I keep brushing it now in the way that I'm gonna comb it at the end and I want to make sure it is a perfectly smooth transition between the length on the side which is number 8 and the longest hair on top so to do that Again, as I go up, you sort of go straight up. You don't follow the shape of your skull or scalp. See how I'm going straight up? That's the key. Especially if you have uh, the same textured hair as I do. So I keep going straight up, and that's how the hair is going to blend. Sometimes people just go with a number 8 on top, but that's going to give you way too short of a result. Notice also that after I cut, I continuously brush my hair back into the original position. By the way, that is a vacuum that is connected to my clippers. Uh, my vacuum ends up being a little too full because my hair is so long, but this is uh, an option with while, and I'll also link that in my video description. So I'm going to spend a lot of time here making sure it's as smooth as it can be because the fading after this part is actually really simple. Once I get this down, then I'm good to go for the rest of the haircut. And here I'm getting my bangs just a little bit. And this is a nice little hack for those who are less comfortable using scissors. You just go along and as you go towards the center of your face, you want the bangs to be longer. And as you go towards your sides, they're a little shorter. I put on the number six here, still in the long position. And I'm pretty much just going all along the sides, making sure that I stay underneath where I cut the number eight. So I'm gonna go pretty high here, just making sure not to go too high past the number eight. And you can already see my hair shape sort of forming a little bit. Uh, trust the method, by the end it will be the product that you need. I know it doesn't look exactly uh, how you might want it to look yet, but with just some steps at the end, we're going to get to where we want to be. And I'm doing the exact same thing at the back. You can feel 
how high to go and the mirror is actually very useful in this respect. You can see exactly what you're doing, making sure you're not going too high, making sure the 6 is fading into the 8 well. And when you're using these higher clips, you don't necessarily need to go 8, 7, 6, 5. You can actually skip some numbers in between uh, because they're such long numbers. It's only when you get down to the 1s, 2s, and 3s, and zeros that you really need to use halves and uh, change the lever. Here I'm using a number 4 and I'm not going as high as I went with the number 6 I'm just staying below the number 6 you can tell that I'm staying nice and low using the mirror here to see the back and you just want to go a good 3-4 inches up uh, you can go a little higher if you want I have to go in all different directions at the bottom back of my hair because I have a lot of cowlicks there uh, and the hair doesn't all grow in the same direction so I'm just polishing up the bottom and now I'm going to start trimming my beard. This is a good time to trim your beard because I want to get to the shape up around my neck and my sideburns but I want to see what my beard looks like first. So on my cheeks I use the longest clip because that's where it grows the thinnest. I use the number 5 in the short position, closed position. Here I use the number 4 on my chin. And now on my mustache, I'm using a number three, all in the closed position. I'm using here the Cut Buddy Plus, and it has a built-in comb. I'm combing my beard. You could see it actually helps before you're about to do anything to your beard to have it all lined up. Here, don't try this at home. I am uh, trimming excess hairs straight with, with my uh, trimmer without any guards one slip and there goes your beard or your mustache so be very careful if you choose to do that now you have all these different curves and options line them up as you like see what works best that's the nice part about the cut buddy plus and once you've chosen exactly which angle you want press it very closely to your cheek and make sure that the trimmer or whatever you're using touches all the way to the template itself and look at how sharp that is it's a very very clean look and it's due to the design of the cut buddy that you get to go so close and you get to touch the trimmer exactly to where the hairs are and you just keep going before moving anything you make sure that you have the exact desired shape that you want and there's so much flexibility and versatility with all the curves here you could see how clean and polished that is same thing on the other side you have uh, choices and you line it up and just cut all around making sure everything is super clean before you move the template very light easy clear to use just like that you get a nice curved line and I'm gonna do the same with my sideburns and you can also use it all the way up at your sideburns uh, on the side your side profile and you can use it uh, on your hairline uh, I choose to go for a more natural look but also on all the edges of the beard, this is very useful. You'll see I'm gonna get straight edges right on the beard. It makes it super simple. There you go, perfect edges. And this is very useful to line up the bottom of your neck, but I have uh, an atypical hairline at the bottom of my neck, so I have to freehand it. This makes perfectly straight lines for your mustache. You'll see this makes a big difference. And I'll do the same on the other side. Here I realize you want to hold your trimmer just like that to make sure that the edge uh, kisses the template and it's just easier for me to trim the bottom. And now I'm ready to get on with the rest of my shape up. I just trim some loose hairs around my ears and here's a really good angle of my beard. You can see what a difference those tips and the cut buddy made how crisp and clean and uniform it is, even though I actually do have a relatively patchy beard to begin with. In my opinion, this is what pulls the entire haircut together. And here I'm cleaning up the back of my neck. You can't quite see it in this angle, but I'll show you the other side right here. What you wanna do is first be very careful. You see, I'm looking constantly, trying to readjust my eyes to this mirror and the reverse illusion, and I finally get going. 
Be very careful here. Make a straight line as best you can. If you have somebody to help you with this step, please use that person. This is the toughest part of the haircut. So I'm just making a straight line using the self-cut system mirror. And without this, you would have to hold a mirror uh, as I do in my other videos, but it's really not as convenient or as easy. Then once you have the straight line, you're gonna try to curve the bottom. Of course, unless you want a uh, square back, but I choose to have it rounded. And you can see I'm taking my time, adjusting, getting my eyes used to it, and I'm going really slowly, getting that curve. Again, the back of my hair is all crazy. It's all in different directions, so don't mind that. And here I'm just going, making a straight line down the bottom. So I've curved the sides already, and now I'm just connecting the two curves. And I keep going and touching it up because this part takes some time. Again, if somebody is there to help you, it'll be really quick and really easy. But using this three-way mirror has been the easiest it's ever been for me to give myself a haircut. And thanks to the clear view that I have from this mirror, I noticed that as I'm doing this step, there are some longer hairs. The number four didn't do the best job, so I took the number three in the closed position, and I went all alongside the bottom just to get rid of any longer hairs there. And I'm also gonna touch up my sideburns with the same number three. And that's really all it takes. Here's a reminder of where we started. And we've come quite a long ways. And after wetting my hair, this is exactly what it looks like. No TV magic here. I just gave it a nice uh, wash or quick wet in the sink. And that's all it takes. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, like, share, and comment, and I'll see you at the next video.